Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh And very good morning Yang berbahagia dan yang saya hormati Tan Sri Simon Si Paul Salah-salah baca kena sepuan Yang bahagia Tuan Fadlingam Presiden PKS Sabah Ahli-ahli jatah kuasa PPKS Sabah Ahli kuasa PPKS Sarawak Tuan-tuan dan tuan-tuan sekalian Terlebih dahulu saya ingin mengucapkan terima kasih atas Jemputan ini daripada Sabah Untuk saya memberikan persembahan tentang diri uh, Mungkin Yang saya akan persembahkan nanti eh, Very simple But I hope it is meaningful to all of us. Tuan-tuan dan perempuan sekalian, tadi Tan Sri telah bercakap mengenai aging dan sebagainya. And getting old. Please, can you please stop talking there? Yes. Thank you very much. Because there cannot be two speakers <laughs> in the conference. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, there are some signs of getting old. And one of the signs is for a gentleman actually. If you wake up in the morning, the only thing that rises is the sun. <laughs> I hope that, that doesn't apply to any of us. <laughs> okay, I've been uh, given the task of giving uh, this paper, and uh, I'm not using any technology. I hope the doctor will uh, forgive me. No technology in IT, but I will try to speak. That's what I've written and expand on it. I'll be using basically two languages. One English, one Bahasa. Ah, bukan Sabah pun punya Bahasa lah. Sarawak punya Bahasa. Alright. There are many activities actually. That senior citizens or pensioners can get involved in after retirement. Ini banyak sekali. Pensioner ini sudah jadi profesor. One example. You don't mind, I quote. Don't mind, I quote you. <laughs> Not only in the social, but also in community development, corporate or business activities. And as uh, the subject that I've given this morning, I will try to attempt to define the word empowerment. Empowerment, I think, in people in management. I will know this term, but it's always used by people to actually the senior officers will always empower the junior officers to do. It's not actually empowerment, it's directive. <laughs> according, according to the Oxford Dictionary, empowerment is the authority given to someone to do something. So, you are empowered, you are empowered. You have the right to do what has been directed to you. That's my experience in the civil service. Huh? They empower you to do specific uh, programs or projects. And volunteering. And volunteering is defined as an act of spending time and providing unpaid, uh, gaji, <laughs> skill or service which intended to benefit or have individuals, environment, or organization. So, when it comes to volunteering, a lot of people likes to volunteer. But in government service, when people ask you to volunteer, normally the head of the department will call all the people, all the officers, 
to volunteer to do something. And none would raise their hand. So what he does is, I will volunteer you. Uh, so that is how we manage people. <laughs> and the assumption here is, uh, ladies and gentlemen, in the context of this presentation, uh, the senior citizens include pensioners. Kita ini semua citizen, senior citizen. At a seminar organized by the Sarawak Pesara last year, our, our president came to, to the seminar on the 14th of December 2022. One speaker described pensioners as the most powerful civil society movement. That is a very big praise to the pensioner society. You know? I was very impressed with the speaker. Not because she was a lady, but uh, because he gave us some motivation as a uh, pensioner. And the civil society and other speakers also use, use inputs from the pensioners to plan and develop his constituency. This was uh, uh, delivered by the YB. He made use of the pensioners in his constituency. Uh, <coughs> Uh, to what they call help him plan and develop his constituency. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is the relevancy of our pensioners. These are still very, very useful. So, you do not forget that. I think a lot of kampongs, a lot of villages, the pensioners. I think I make uh, roles is very, very, very important and relevant. So, <clears throat> I would say that uh, we have still the capacity, we still have the ability to contribute to society. So, don't give up. Huh? <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, not everyone is given the privilege to grow old. True or not? <clears throat> <laughs> Tidak semua dibagikan Tuhan untuk menua. Kita bersyukur kita diberi peluang untuk menjadi tua. So we must count ourselves very very lucky, huh? very very lucky. <coughs> like what was said by this uh, doctor this morning, in my 30, 40 years time, 20 percent. 20% of our population will become will become agent and become uh, agent society. So like what's happening in Japan now. Japan is an agent country. Many, many, many uh, old people. Because Japan lives a healthy life. Japan uh, eats good food. Japanese eats good food. They look after their, their, uh, after their health. But unfortunately, they pour toxic materials into the sea. <laughs> which is not very healthy. So, in the country, there are more than 900,000 pensioners. You believe it or not? 900,000 pensioners. This is according to what I get from Google and also from the GPA. And it's costing the government 30 billion, 30 billion every year. It's a lot of money. And there's a lot of votes also, 900,000 votes with the pensioners. So we are still a very forceful uh, movement. Uh, so why be, why be better be careful? <laughs> And annually, annually there were 32,000 officers retired. 32,000 officers retired. But now I think <coughs> the government recently has made some sound, some proposal to extend the retiring age to 65. It may be a good news, maybe bad news. But I think with the extension of the retiring age, the 
uh, the sale of uh, tongkat and walking sticks will go up. <laughs> Stella, you are not laughing because of last night. <laughs> because uh, a lot of people after 60, a lot of them got problem with the knee, got problem with the uh, uh, eyes and so on. But it's a good uh, move by the government to extend, to extend this to get employment to the the agent. Huh? So the young people might not agree with it, but uh, if the government can afford it, why not? Uh, it's still very useful, like I said in the beginning. <clears throat> Just now, our country was talking about retirement plan. I, I think I have a sort of same idea. I mean to say that great men things are like. <laughs> <laughs> Not many of us have any concrete retirement plan. I don't think any of us have any written retirement plan. <coughs> so we just go as it is. Huh? Come what may, we try for uh, goes on. If there is, it could only be skeletal and without any documentation. Therefore, it may be a good idea we have some sort of plan to chart our retirement costs because it's important to, to, to actually see what you would like to, to, to happen but it may not happen uh, in your lifetime but at least you have some plan like Tantri's advice is good if you have any plan don't transfer your properties to your children yet <laughs> <laughs> that one I will, I will uh, try to, 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 to follow <laughs> It is important to set specific targets and not indulging in too many uh, of these uh, activities they want to do. As we don't have the luxury, we don't have the luxury of time to do everything. Because after pension, maybe you will still live under 20, 10 years, some people one year, some people 30 years, depends. Like Tansri and myself, our, we retired at the age of 55. So now Tantri is 86 years old. So 33 years earning makan gaji buta. <laughs> Sorry Tantri. <laughs> uh, I, I uh, retired in 2001. Now it's 2023. So 22 years old and I got gaji buta. <laughs> Actually, it's not like you, it helps us a lot. It helps us a lot. Because uh, pens pensioners always have empty pockets. <coughs> and uh, just for an advice, that please do not try to do too many things. That, like I said just now, we don't have a luxury of time. <coughs> and enjoy, and do things that you really enjoy. You really enjoy doing uh, that may create mutual uh, benefits to the community. Better still, if it can generate income at the same time. Later on, I will list out some of the activities that we can uh, uh, do, do uh, to help uh, the community and our surroundings. And let's, please do not try to be a hero. I have to try to do too many things. My, one of my friends always mentioned whenever we want to do something different, it's better to be a living fool than a dead hero. Before embarking on any activities, there must, there must be some vision. You know? Ada kehendak. Ada kehendak inside you or desire to help or contribute to the community. Dengan ikhlasnya orang Melayu kata, huh? to help, not because you want to help uh, to impress the YP, not because you want to help to impress your uh, mother-in-law, or to impress anybody. It must come out from your heart that you want to help contribute to the society. There's a continuous species, a continuous learning process, and a great opportunity to develop a strong bond of friendship understanding and mutual interest with the community. 
Now, let me list out some possible movement, uh, involvements that we can try to participate or try to do when we retire. But before that, I will just want to say something about uh, before you retire, you must plan, like uh, what, what Tan Sri said. Huh? Because when you retire, uh, the, the general will still will not be useful. His uniform will not be useful anymore. And any police, uh, police inspectors, uh, ASPs, and so on, people will not salute you anymore. No more. You don't know like it. Head of office, BO, and so on. The office boy will not pay your electricity bills anymore. You have to do it yourself. Uh, true or not? Uh, see, one time my former boss, he retired and it happened that at that night he made an accident. So I received a call from him. So one, he said, what to do? I have got an accident. <laughs> I have got an accident. I don't know what to do. I said, boss, uh, that's why next time when you have an accident, uh, <coughs> Uh, uh, try to call the police. Uh, even things like that, he doesn't know what to do. He didn't know what to do. Simple, simple, basic things. So you have to learn. Oh, five years before you retire, learn all those basic things. Buy a bill, beli sayur, pergi uh, surau. <laughs> because all these things you have to do yourself. Your children will not be with you. They have their own family, uh, doing their own life. They're leading their own life. So, you and your wife uh, are the only uh, <laughs> people that uh, will uh, help each other in the house. So, before you retire, uh, please plan. Please learn what you have to do and uh, get yourself acclimatized with the common people's activities. When, when, when I uh, to to give you some picture of what I did, not that I'm praising myself, but the activity that I had done before. Five or six years before I retire, I started joining the most the most uh, committee. Started to get involved in organizing things like uh, pertandingan berjuke. When you do to the, become the what they call uh, Bilal or Azan uh, uh, during prayer time, so people will appreciate what you do, and they try to, they will try and mix up with you, and your communication with them will be no barrier, because communication is very very important when you want to develop a community. Because you have to pass the mission and they have to, to absorb what, what you want to pass to them. So it's very important to have good communication skills when you want to develop anything in the community. The way you pass the message, the way you talk to them, uh, the time of your uh, instruction or direction to uh, the people. So I find it very important to have good communication skills. Sometimes we wrong, we send the wrong message because the way we convey the message. Huh? First of all, I list here uh, the special dedicated projects or programs in a particular area that requires expertise and skills. Like if you are an ex-engineer, or perhaps uh, your kampung needs drainage require drainage planning and so on. So this is where you as engineer will try to assist our people, the community, trying to plan your drainage system maybe, your anti-flood uh, system and so on. That is where your expertise is being made. Because once you have that knowledge inside you, you will never escape yourself. The more you share the knowledge, the more you increase the knowledge. So knowledge is one thing that is never in deficit. You share it, you will become uh, positive. 
And the next one is you get yourself involved. Get yourself involved. Volunteer uh, in planning and implementation at the ground level so that together with the local leaders, councillors, local representatives, and sometimes maybe the YBs. The YBs are making a lot of, uh, uh, they are getting a lot of uh, help and services from the pensioners. Uh, that's what I noticed in our area. A lot of uh, these uh, pensioners become to kampung, become pengulu, become pemanca, and become temungu. And these people extend the service, helping the YBs to to propagate maybe uh, development uh, development uh, <coughs> programs and project, and also maybe the YBs to extend these ideas of what development is in that certain constituency. The next one is agricultural projects. That is where we can assist those, especially those who have been in the agriculture department before or in the agriculture agencies, uh, like uh, planting of uh, vegetables, planting of rice, planting of uh, Maybe nowadays people are going after Kelapa Sawit. And we can see in Sarawak, especially in areas, especially in Miri areas, a lot of these long houses people are enriched because of that uh, involvement in Kelapa Sawit. And a lot of these people are ex ex government servants, ex uh, civil service. And, uh, a lot of them are now driving high lux. At least, I, I like one Pogulu, I was informed what a high lux cash. Cash. So, if you can imagine how much a high lux, uh, high lux cost. Uh, and the, the good thing is this the LSDN is not after them. Another project that uh, we can develop is this modern farming. Modern farming. Although lately there has been a talk about the shortage of rice in the country. Uh, and some people are suggesting that we plant rice on the rooftops. You may find that crazy, but uh, in Japan there are people planting rice in rooftops. But in Japan, the Rice variety is uh, very productive. In two years, you can plant three crops. So, and the yield is very high. Uh, <coughs> Muhammad, Sabu is, uh, Muhammad Sabu is having a lot of problems in trying to get people to get involved in rice. Because uh, my experience that uh, planting rice would make money. Don't make money. I think it's better to plant housing for, uh, Housing project. Housing project make fast money. <laughs> because a few years ago, I was we were driving across from uh, to Alosta. Before that, when I see a post site, a lot of paddy, uh, paddy uh, estates or paddy planting was done. But lately, a lot of housing was planted in the same area, not being in the same area. So. You cannot blame them because the, the money they get from uh, selling houses is very much, very much higher than what they can get from planting paddy. Economic huh? so, so that's uh, just an example. I hope the, our uh, pensioner would not advise people to develop uh, housing in the paddy area. It would be very difficult. <laughs> And also organic farming is the in thing now. Uh, in, in Singapore, so there's what they call vertical farming. Vertical farming that means people plant things on the wall. Uh, there's some device they use so that it will look up. Uh, it is planted in the house, not on the on the ground. So these these are modern 
uh, methods that we can have if you are an agriculture expert. Huh? But let me, I, I, these new new things, I forgot already because I retired many, many years ago. And another important thing is what we can have is in areas like welfare homes. Huh? Or a There's a lot of uh, orphanages. Orphans now are uh, not being looked after well. In Kuching, there are very few organizations are taking these orphans and put them in orphanage. And this is where our pensioners can assist uh, all this initiative and the desire to do that. Like I said, the idea you must have that passion to help. And also, <coughs> Welfare homes, orphanage, and uh, home for the aged. In Kuching, there's one very well known home for the aged in Samongo. But uh, there are but Chinese benevolent societies. Some have uh, very well uh, established this home for the aged for their members. So, this is another area where we can contribute because these people need help. Welfare homes uh, uh, need uh, money. Welfare homes need uh, exercise so that they also will enjoy health benefits like God gardening is a good exercise for the old people. And <clears throat> another avenue which the pensioners can assist in, in religious houses uh, like Surao, Apekong, Buddhist, uh, Buddhist uh, societies. But uh, my experience is in the, the, the Muslim uh, uh, community uh, where the Surao and Masjid, we, a lot of assistance are required to what they call improve the management of the mosque. If there are people who are qualified, you know, to, to in management, they can organize to, to manage, improve the management of the mosque, improve the management of the surau, help to go, help the, the, the surau and mosque to uh, get, uh, to give better services to the ummah, to the kampung people. So these are avenues or areas which we can assist. And another thing is uh, there are rampant incidences of uh, drug activities in the campo, especially in the campo. So if we can assist the ADK, Pamadam, we have a voluntary organization for Pamadam. They help the government to uh, what you call attempt to solve the drug problem in the area. So this is another area that uh, we retirees can contribute to. So another thing that is very uh, relevant now is environmental issues. You see uh, a lot of organizations, departments I think, are now encouraging people to have one trees back into the jungle, back into the, the area, like, like into the Bako or Bako areas. They plant Bako seedlings, they plant uh, to use the good trees to replace trees that we have destroyed or harvested during our time. So there are also projects like rubbish collection. You see some areas in Kuching. Kuching some areas are very clean, like country said this morning but clean, but there are other areas that requires care by the council and so on, which are neglected. Some areas are neglected. Maybe these areas we can also assist. We just pick up rubbish, put in a rubbish bin, rubbish uh, plastic and so on. So uh, it, it requires our desire to keep our best clean. Another thing is involvement in NGOs. NGOs and voluntary organizations like Red Crescent. 
like uh, NGOs, a lot of them are now involved in giving aid to Palestine, giving aid to Ethiopia. Uh, these are the things that we people who has enough experience in the medical field, like uh, Jirahima, can assist. <laughs> And also some charitable institutions, they also assist the society to improve the environment. And another thing that I would like to touch is on Pesara village. This morning, uh, Tansi was talking about the settlement of uh, this Pesara. <coughs> I also have this same idea. Many developed countries have dedicated township for pensioners. They build a village for pensioners with all the facilities. The only facility they don't have is school for the young man, because they are all pensioners. <laughs> they have hospitals, they have uh, gyms suitable for use by pensioners. And this government should uh, take the lead. There are some already, I think yesterday I read an article in the paper, Sabah, but it's initiated by the uh, individual or commercial people. Kuching, there are some. Uh, uh, it has been established, but also run by uh, private individuals. So many, many, there are many, many, many things that uh, we can do. There are my, myriads of things and activities pensioners can contribute. It is a question of choosing which suit our ability to contribute. Maybe, may, may it be in the form of finance, skill and expertise provided provision, provided we are willing to learn and share out our knowledge because this is uh, lifetime learning so ladies and gentlemen retire in style uh, retire with some money in you <laughs> the two speakers were saying that we must have money when we retire otherwise we cannot have our own laksa our daily laksa and kopi or punya uh, enjoyment. And they say that retirement is goodbye to pension and hello to pension. <laughs> to conclude, then I would like to quote Emily Sayim at the Philosopher Malayu Skinner. Menjadi tua itu pasti. Namun nikmati masa tua dengan keadaan sehat dan berjiwa muda. Pas filial. Berjiwa muda adalah pilihan. So relax and take life easy. Travel and see people and places and do things that you love. Sekian, terima kasih. Selamat pagi. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Selamat pagi.